So the second video in our SIRDS overview for NAT5 maths is adding and subtracting SIRDS. So SIRDS are added and subtracted just like collecting like terms in algebra. So for example, if we had 4a plus 3a, we would collect our like terms together and we'd end up with 7a. So our algebraic variable is treated in the same way that our SIRD is going to be treated. So if we look at the first example here, we've got 9 root 2 plus 7 root 2 take away root 2. And if we want to, for completeness, we can put in a coefficient of that last root 2. It's got a coefficient of 1. So what we're saying is we've got 9 root 2s and we're adding on 7 root 2s. That will give us 16 root 2s. We're then taking away 1 root 2. So our final answer is going to be 15 root 2. Now, if we've got more than one type of surd, it's the same as if we had more than one variable. So if we had 3x plus 2y plus x take away y, we would have to join the x's together and the y's together, but we wouldn't be able to combine the x's and y's. So we would have a final answer with some x terms and some y terms. So if we look at this example that we're going to simplify fully, we've got some root sixes and we've got some root twos. So we can combine the root sixes together and we can combine the root twos together. The important thing here is that you have to take the sign in front of your third when we're combining them together. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna combine the root sixes. So we've got four root six and we've got plus two root six. So we're going to end up with six root sixes. And then we've got a take away root two and we're taking away eight root two. So we're gonna end up with minus nine root two. And that's our final answer. Now, what if we don't have this, the same roots? Normally there's a clue in the question that we are going to have to simplify each of the roots to get root twos so that we can then combine them together. But if you've got all different roots and it's telling you that you can simplify it, then it means that you're going to end up with something that you can simplify at the end of the question. So we're going to simplify root 32. So we know that root 32 has perfect squares of four and 16. We're gonna use the largest one. So we're gonna use root 16 times two. We're gonna take away root two, and then we're going to work out what factors of 98. And if we're looking for root twos, two times what gives us 98? That's 49. So we're gonna have 49 times two. And now we can simplify it further. So we're going to end up with root 16 root 2, take away root 2, plus root 49 root 2. Now we need to square root our perfect squares. So we're going to end up with four root 2, take away root 2, plus seven root two, and now we can combine them all together. So four root two, take away root two is three root two, add on the seven root two, and our final answer is 10 root two.